Tao overflows. How to overcome attachment to sex? Sex, your basic life force and energy. If not physical, then at least emotional and psychological. Your basic existential bioenergy, but it must transform. Sex is part of your unconscious. Once you start the process, the robot takes over. Sex remains a mechanical act. Nothing is in your hand once the process has started. You cannot start or finish the act at your will. For that, sex has to emerge from your unconscious the dark realm to the conscious realm, the light. This is difficult, but not impossible at all. Each one can attain to this state. Those who are in close communion with, an, with the awakened one have tasted this. Meditation is the secret most method of going beyond the body and all that the body contains. A process of transcending from unconscious to conscious. This takes time. Certainly it takes time even in the company of an awakened one. However, in the company of the awakened one, the process becomes easy. The reason is you not only hear his words, instead you have realized that the message surrounds the words that create a milieu, an energy field for you and the message to start growing in you. Sex is part of your body, your biology and the unconscious. No sooner it begins, the robot takes over. Certainly it is not the part of your consciousness. The moment you start rising up in your consciousness, sex is left far behind like the defeated army. Therefore, start with simple things. Zen Buddhists, Zen Buddhists, Zen monks have been so many times reported to have been doing this. When a Zen master Bosho was asked, what is your meditation? What is your spiritual practice? He said, when I feel hungry, I eat. And I, when, when I feel sleepy, I go to sleep. This is all. The man who was asking said, but this we all do. What is so special about it? Bosho repeated it again. He said, when I am hungry, I eat. And when I am sleepy, I sleep. And that is the difference. When you feel hungry, your robot eats. When you feel sleepy, the robot sleeps. Bosho said, I and that is the difference. If you become more aware in your day-to-day -day work, in your ordinary life, the awareness will begin to grow. From the time you wake up, you do so many things. But everything is done mechanically. First understand what is meant by the word mechanical. Mechanical means doing as habit, robot-like. I will share you, share with you an anecdote of the head of the Department of Philosophy of the college where I studied. He was, the professor was living not too far from the college also in the same area lived magistrates, judges and other high officials. 
The professor was well known in the area. From his residence, he used to come to the college with a walking stick as a fashion. Each time he will enter the classroom, he will place his walking stick in one of the corners and then sit on the chair to begin his lecture. This was his daily habit. Once you do something on a regular basis, immediately it becomes a habit and then the robot takes over. One day as he entered the classroom, he was late. He placed his walking stick on the chair and stood up in the corner to begin his usual lecture. There are similar such incidents with other philosophers as well. And with being alert, you will not be just a mechanical thing. For the first time, you become a person. Now you are not one. And a person has a face and a mechanical thing has many masks, no face. If you are a person who is alive, alert and aware, you can have an authentic existence. If you are just a mechanical device, you cannot have any authentic existence. Each moment will change you. Each situation will change you. You will be just a floating thing with no inner core with no inner being awareness gives you inner presence without it you will feel that you are but you are not a man has reached old age when he cannot take a yes for an answer so it does not matter at the age of 35 you have become a wise old man and the beauty of a wise old man is tremendously beautiful and valuable in the company to the foolishness of all those who are just young. The young people are bound to fool around. It is rare at this age to be able to get out of this stupidity that we call youth. This place and all that overflows are for transformation and the only energy you have got to be transformed is sex. Remember sex is your basic life force and the only energy available for transformation. There is no other energy. Therefore you have to understand this first only then you will be able to use this energy wisely for transformation. If you succeed in transforming it into higher form, it is going to disappear from its lower manifestations. But you are not going to miss anything. At each higher state, the energy will give you more and more blissfulness. The higher it rises, it becomes a tidal wave of blissfulness. You start feeling orgasmic in every fiber of your being. Sexual orgasm seems to be a far away echo, almost as if you have seen it in a dream, just a faint memory. For happiness, you have to depend on the others. And for bliss, you do not have to depend on anyone. It is a growth out of you. Because what you are now experiencing is so authentic and so real and solid that you will not need a companion. That too is one of the basic dependencies. And that is why all couples are in constant fight. 
The reason is that nobody wants to be dependent on anyone. It takes away your dignity, your individuality and your freedom. It makes you in a subtle sense a slave. The man who loves a woman will hate. Hate the woman because that woman has become a necessity and one hates to be dependent on anyone. And the same is the case for the woman. Every woman hates the husband. She has to hate him because she has become dependent on him for momentary pleasures which cannot last long. A meditator finally comes into a space where he does not need anyone to give him pleasure. He is full of blissfulness, overflowing. He can share. He can fill the whole world with his blissfulness. His very being has become orgasmic. Now, that is something tremendously significant to be remembered. You are both man and woman together because you are born of a father and a mother. Half of you being, your being has been contributed by your father and the other half by your mother. Naturally, you cannot be just man or just woman. It is a fallacy perpetuated for centuries that man is a man and a woman is a woman. It is absolutely wrong. Every man has his woman within him and every woman has her man within her. Only the meditator comes to know his whole being. Suddenly, his inner woman and inner man melts and merges into each other. That creates an orgasmic state in him. Now, it is no more a momentary experience that comes and goes. Instead, it is something that continues day in and day out, like the heartbeat or breathing. Every moment he is in this organic orgasmic state, naturally, sex begins to disappear and at this stage disappears. A greater experience has come in. The sun has risen. What is the use of having a candle unnecessarily burning then? Pleasure from sex is like the candle lighting. You are bound to blow it out. If somebody keeps the candle burning while the sun is shining, it only shows one thing that the man is blind. A meditator comes to know such a vast experience of joy that all other pleasures simply fade away in front of this. Enough for now. Thank you.